Ukrainian Multipu Mix is in another woman's home tonight, all because the woman who raised him was just two hours too late when she went to pick him up. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle spoke with the dog's mom, who won't stop until the dog is in her arms once again. Cassie. Yes, two weeks ago, little killer would be curled up next to Megan Gregor on her pillow. Tonight, she's sleeping all alone and desperate to have him back. My side's over here, his side's over here. He would always sleep like right by my head on the pillow. Tonight, that pillow's bare. For her, that's her baby. Megan Gregor's nightmare started with a haircut. I had just given him a haircut myself. It looked horrible, I'm not going to lie, for a little thing. Gregor gave him a bath and let him outside to dry. I guess the gardeners came. I went upstairs to take a shower, and I came down to let him back in, and I'm like, killer, killer, like freaking out. She drove around the neighborhood, posted flyers, and even a Craigslist app. I just overlooked it because he's not a Yorkie, so I guess it just didn't dawn on me, which I sh it should have. A Craigslist ad led Gregor to Kern County Animal Shelter, but she couldn't pick him up. At the very end of January, beginning of February is when I had found out. The my kidneys filled. Dialysis treatments and a few dozen pills are her medicinal regimen each day. He has these little pointy ears that just kill me. Killer was her constant companion throughout. It means a lot because I can't always be here working and she's home by herself and it just really it's upsetting to have her best friend not here for her. November 7th, they were reunited. He was so excited to see me. I'm like, killer, baby. And he's, you know, doing those little circles, like so excited, going, you know, whining at me. I'm like, don't worry, I'm going to get you out. Two hours earlier, he was formally adopted. I'm crying. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, this dog is very important to me. KCAS called the new owner who said she didn't want to know about the situation and didn't want to give killer back. Not only is my dog gone, but now I know that it's it's with this person that is kind of just doesn't have any compassion. Today she made a discovery that she still has a piece of him and gives her that much more motivation to get the rest of him back. I am going to request for the new owner's information and and see where that goes. The next step in the newest obstacle she's facing. Gregor says she will keep fighting until she gets killer back. She said she's tried to put herself in the woman's shoes, but can't understand why she won't give her dog back. Amanda? 